We're hearing from a local mother who is very upset after finding out the Chicago police officer who shot and killed her son six years ago gets to keep his job. Eyewitness News reporter Leah Hope talked to Dakota Bright's family today. A grieving mother shares frustration that she didn't know about a meeting to return the officer to work who shot her son. I would have been there. I would have asked to speak like we should be able to speak on behalf of our family. That was my baby. Like, why didn't I get to say nothing? Last night, the Chicago Police Board voted to return Officer Brandon Turnin to work, despite the Chicago Police Department's recommendation to have him fired and the oversight agency finding that his 2012 shooting of Dakota Bright was unjustified. After the meeting, Superintendent Eddie Johnson had this to say. We're not always going to, going to agree. Sometimes we will and this time we didn't, you know, so it is what it is. It's somewhat of a travesty. Uh, they have over the city of Chicago's propensity to protect their own. Greg Coolis represented Bright's family in a wrongful death lawsuit, which was settled with the city. Do you think Officer Turnan should be a police officer? I'm sorry, I don't think I want to answer that question. My baby, don't come home. They hurt me. They is wrong. I swear they is so wrong on so many levels. The police board's decision last night comes as the board is considering disciplinary action against four other officers. Jason Van Dyke and three other officers alleged to have covered up the shooting of Laquan McDonald. Last Friday, Van Dyke was convicted of the murder of Laquan McDonald. At Chicago Police Headquarters, Leah Hope, ABC7 Eyewitness News.